Hi, this is Dodger and you're watching my show. I just love suspenders. They're one of those articles of clothing that I'll never quite understand why they exist. Like, why, why do you need suspenders? To keep your pants up? Got belts? But you know, that doesn't stop me from owning three pairs of suspenders, so... Whatever. So, for gaming news, first thing is that Deadpool comes out tomorrow! And maybe that was uncalled for. It's a little too zealous. But look, it's my gaming news show. I can make news out of whatever I want. So, deal. Today in news, cats are still cute. What? So there's a game that we found out about at E3 called Spark, and they've just initiated their beta. You can sign up now to be part of the first wave of players. It's like an extreme sandbox game. Like, you make things, you can apply personalities to things, you can decide what they are and why they're there, and there's like collaborative efforts in it, I believe. The game is going to be for Windows 8 and Xbox One. I heard a rumor that it's going to come with the Xbox One, but I don't know if that's true. Either way, I'll give you guys a link so that you know where you can sign up for the beta. It was interesting because some people were really excited about this game and thought that it looked really interesting. And then there was the other half that I was part of that said, Spark looks sorry. We don't know when this game is going to be coming out, but we do know that it's enabled with Smart Glass and Connect at launch. I don't know how those are going to be utilized, but again, we don't know all that much about the game other than its sandboxy nature. But if you want to be part of the beta group that finds out what it is, Click the link. In September, Dragon Quest X is going to be coming to PC, which might be more exciting if we knew that this game was going to leave Japan. For those of you who don't know, Dragon Quest X is set in the same fun Akira Toriyama world, but it is an MMO, so it's very different from the other games. And there are lots of people that have been really excited about this game, but again, we don't have any confirmation that it's ever going to go to Europe or the Americas or anything like that. But if it's on PC, wouldn't it be like easier? for it to come kind of maybe, you know? As an old Dragon Ball Z nut, I feel like I could kind of convince myself that this is sort of a Dragon Ball Z MMO. Oh my gosh, a Dragon Ball Z MMO? Is that a thing? Does that exist? Did anybody try that yet? Dragon Quest is one of those franchises that has only ever been on Nintendo, much less any other platform. So for it to be on PC, I don't know whether or not there would be all that many PC users that would be interested in playing a Dragon Quest MMO. Aside from me, like for a day, until I realized that I can't pretend it's a Dragon Ball Z MMO. And that's when I would give up. As I found a bit of news, any of you who are interested in Watch Dogs, I'm so excited about that game, I want to play it so bad. But they have revealed in a video, not in an actual announcement, but in a video, that there will be some multiplayer involved. I'm very excited for this game. It seems like it would be overwhelming, but those of you who have played it have said that it's pretty clean, it's pretty easy to play while also being very interesting, so that in turn interests me. Gratuitous suspender shot! Oh god, that hurts so bad. Gratuitous suspender shots are uh, harmful. Harmful to the user. Oh, hey, by the way, did I mention the devil comes out tomorrow? Oh, I did? Oh, oops, sorry about that. I guess I'll just not mention it anymore. But anywho, that is my show. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a positive or a negative response, feel free to leave it in my comment section. And if you want to have coffee with me, you can click wherever I put the annotation and it'll take you to my other channel. We are extending the Sherlock Cat t-shirt for another week, so this is the last week to buy it. I will link you guys to that in the description as well. And TB and I just played our semifinals game in Blood Bowl, so that will also be going up this week. And Jesse and I recorded some Dead Space 3. Oh my gosh, so many things. But I hope that you guys had an amazing weekend, and I will talk to you again on Wednesday. Bye bye! Mwah.